Pride and Prejudice and Zombies had sort of a difficult road uh, to get to mm. being a, a film. It was developed for a while, a uh, different studio, mm -hmm. uh, a number of different directors, different cast attached to mm -hmm. it at different times. Yeah. Um, what is it about this now, though, with this group, this cast, this studio, uh, that brought it together for it to finally become uh, a thing based off of this very popular book? Well, it's funny, question. isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we were actually talking about this in the car mm. earlier on the way to a different interview. I mean, I don't know what the alchemy of actors and producers and directors coming together is, but I guess for some reason, you know, Lily, Sam, are quite good casting as Darcy and, and, and Liz, I think. Um, and it, it seems Brit this cast is British. Predominantly, it's all, yeah, yeah, almost yeah. completely yeah. apart from Be Bella, Bella, who's Australian. <laughs> feels Bella. Brit it feels British and, like, really based in sort of, you know... Where, Jane Austen uh, World. I don't Jane know. Austin World, yeah. yeah. And I, I mean, you'd have to ask the producer, I suppose, but it was for me, it was just so exciting for it to be able to sort of jump on at this point. And it, I think zombies have had a sort of moment, haven't they, as well, of late? Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, well, I mean, that was your one, another thing I wanted to ask is, you know, we're in this kind of um, height of, of zombies. Yeah. Uh, zombies have never been as popular as they are right now. And yeah. the three of you have had your hand in sort of genre fare before. What about zombies? Uh, at this point, I guess, is like what draws people to them now more than, than ever? It's a, that's a very good question, to which I don't really have an answer. <laughs> I, 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 sp I suppose it's, it's they believe that it, it's that sort of sick thing where you sort of believe that it could happen. People, I mean, yeah. you get people that sort of really go about and get their zombie kits. And I mean, I watched a whole TV, hour long TV program on it the other day. People actually get ready for the zombie apocalypse, you know, whether they think it comes from a form of, sort of Ebola type disease or Which whatever. Which is weird because when we were filming this, that really was all happening, Ebola, and it was a really terrible, you know, That's it was weird. That's why Pride, Prejudice and Zombies was made. No, <laughs> no but it is that there is a weird, like, uh, kind of yeah. parallel yeah. Of, yeah. Of, this, no, no. of this fear of something taking hold and, yeah. and everyone, no one being safe yeah. and yeah. nowhere yeah. to hide. And, and and I think that's a fear and in, in, that's a really innate human fear of of, of, of sort of contamination and 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 and, and people rising from the dead. Yeah, <laughs> and I remember I remember it in the news and it sort of played. It was in, it was in our sort of kind of conscious at the time. Which was weird. It's it like a theme when I made mm. Noah that Hurricane Sandy hit New York and sort of knocked away half our set when we were shooting. I think there's, yeah. a, there's something. Going so, on so it's here. you. You brought yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he brings all these curses. <laughs> no, Essentially, the apocalypse is coming in real life, so yeah. we made this movie. Yeah. <laughs> we pay you all. You bring up what if, and everybody sort of has their own zombie. What if? What would I do? How would I react? Based mm. off yeah. their own their own personality. Even mm. the people you know, they're like, oh, the zombie yeah. came. This is I know you better than you. Yeah. Uh, have you have you ever even thought to what would happen if there was a zombie attack, a zombie apocalypse? How you would react? I'd get spot? right involved. Yeah. In it. <laughs> well, unlike Parson Collins, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't actually get any zombie action in this movie, sadly. But yeah, I'd get a big ass sword. Well, I feel I'd, like I'm totally prepared. I'd hide behind these girls yeah. who trained like hell and know how to. I'd kick call some up zombie Suki, Bella, right Millie, and <laughs> Ellie, and we'd we'd take we'd protect everyone. We're, yeah. we're yeah. The Bella sisters would be there to save you because we got pretty badass. Do you have a zombie weapon of choice? Well, Liz Bennett has a sword and a dagger at, at always at both times. But I did use a musket at one point as well. And that was, I mean, it's a bit slow. You have to, like, powder up. Yeah. And, and that well, might take a while. Head, don't you but use, I hope it's a slow you zombie. You use hairpins at some point. Like, yeah. you get out head, like, your hairpins are yeah. like, uh, you know. I think anything. I could take off this Jimmy Choo and stab the zombie in the eye. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah, yeah. laughs> use whatever you have. You have to exactly, right? Yeah. You've got to improvise. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the strengths, I think, of, of the zombie uh, genre over time is it's always been sort of a, a way to, uh, to make social commentary. Um, yeah. A way of using the zombies as a way of commenting on the way we are now. I think Burr talked about the class system, that kind of very old, you know, the, the Regency sort of system that people were really angry. Their lower class people sort of like fighting back, and there was a, there was different. Burr's a really intelligent, brilliant man, and he had a lot of different allegories for what this meant and of a time of unrest and reform, and when people were going to fight back and. He had a, a, and also of, of a, again, of this, when you're bit by a zombie of a disease spreading and, and, it, and there being different stages of infection and of disease mm. until you're showing. And there was a lot of, he's very, a very deep man, burst in. Yeah. <laughs> and he talked a lot, a lot yeah. of some of which I can't remember. <laughs> when, you're, when you're crafting these characters, because they are so uh, 
have been defined over time. I mean, you're talking about uh, Pride and Prejudice is one of the most popular British uh, English literature novels ever. Um, you have, there are rules, I guess, d defined and baked into the characters based off of how people perceive them. Because of the way that this project comes together, because it's a mashup, because you have zombies, because yeah. you're allowed to do some absurd and outrageous things, <laughs> does that give you the freedom to kind of step outside of those lines absolutely yeah. to go to work and, and not yeah not be within those same parameters like we had zombies in our universe so yeah. kind of anything was possible yeah, yeah. yeah. So we could yeah. really just have fun with it and play with it and uh, but then at the same time the humor was found in trying to obey that same etiquette and those same yeah. rules yeah whilst operating in a completely different world so that's where Burrell, I yeah, Burrell always said the joke was that we weren't like winking at the camera. The joke was that it was just so ridiculous. Yeah. Zombies well, being I in this was, world. You <laughs> were brewing, he was brewing around. He's very, very funny in the film. No, 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 but I was. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no but sorry, sorry, don't go on. Carry on. No, but it's true. Yeah. yeah. It is, it is. What he was saying. But I think also what's amazing about it is that at the heart of it, you've got this, this like you said, it's a tale that's been told a couple of times, more than once. <laughs> But this amazing love story that, that's at the centre mm. of it, and actually, what did Pride and Prejudice need? It needed zombies. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and and so the love, the beats. Actually, all the beats from the original story hold up. Like you really are in yeah. the movie, really invested in um, Darcy and Lizzie's Liz and Darcy, really yeah. relationship, yeah. and in, you know Bing, Bingley and um, Jane. Jane's <laughs> relationship, Bingley and Jane's relationship, and you know the P Parson Collins' struggle to find her wife, but also that you know you really uh, th those are really great parts of the movie that are actually taken from the original novi novel. But it's just so funny, it's just so interesting to see how 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 will adding zombies to that world affect that original story and what will the outcome be? Mm. Well then when you're, I mean, do you go to any of the source material at all? Do you go to the Austin novel? Do you yeah. go yeah. to yeah. the Seth Graham? I mean, or do you, do you go to the Seth Graham Smith novel? Do you, yeah. How do you figure yeah. out, I guess, what to use from different aspects as you kind of make this amalgamation of what you're going to put on screen? I think you had to use well, I use both. I mean, yeah. because what I think was interesting is that in Jane Austen, Liz Bennett is, she's so tormented inside. She's so unsatisfied. She's so angry at the plight of women in her state of not wanting to marry and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Sorry, Jane Austen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> this is this sort of internal conflict. And in this film, it's almost like she has a physical exp expression of, of that unsatisfaction in her life. Yeah. And so rather than holding it all in and she gets to, to actually punch Darcy in the face. Um, and so it's so refreshing. That was a really it's, yeah. fun Just such an way expression of, of love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you guys thank very you. much. Good question. Good thank question. you.